Houston, we've got a problem. Not only are we dealing with issues resulting from tech posture and texting thumb, but now research out of Australia is showing that our youth are developing these bony protuberances, these horns, shall we say, at the base of the skull as an adaptation to prolonged cervical flexion from texting too much and using their mobile devices for long periods of time. So what do we do about it? Well, mobile devices are ubiquitous. They're not going away. But what we can do is change how we're holding our devices so that we're ensuring strain-free posture with maximum efficiency. I'll share some tips now that you can use for yourself or share with your kids and grandkids. Let's begin with how we hold our device when we're standing. Often what I see is people standing with their hips thrust forward and the phone resting on their belly with their arms back behind them and their head hyperflexed forward. That's going to result in increased tension in the neck and back from increased compressive loads. So we want to avoid that. What um, some people think I'm going to suggest is holding it up like this so it's in line with your eyes. However, that's just going to cause tendonitis in the forearms and it's unsustainable and it's just going to cause fatigue. So instead, try this. You're going to be in a nice, comfortable, wide base of support, and you're going to stack your bones one on top of another. So you start with your shin bone over your ankle bone. So you make sure you're not, the hips aren't thrust forward, and the thigh bones over the shins, the hips over the thighs, making sure you're neither tucked under nor hyperextended, but just placed right. Same thing with the rib cage over the pelvis, not hyperextended or dropped or collapsed, but just resting. Shoulders forward, up, back, down, and relax them. And then get your head over those bones as well so your ear is in line with your shoulders. Then from there, take your device, place, it, place your arms right by your side, and your arms will be at a comfortable angle to be able to view. Right now, I can just incline my eyes down and keep my head in neutral. However, if you want to bend your head forward, think of using your ears as a fulcrum, a pivot point to flex the chin forward. And that will allow you to look down without changing the um, ear over shoulder alignment. So instead of doing this, you are doing this and maintaining good alignment. If you enjoyed these tips, please like, share, and post your comments down below. And if you have any unique ideas to share, please do so below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks. See you next time.